here now, Washington Times opinion editor, Fox News contributor, Charlie Herp. I'm, I'm going to sit here and stifle. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, um, you know, either th they were a threat, the balloons were a threat, or they were not a threat, whichever, go with it. Uh, but just be honest with people. But but it's like he's incapable of being honest with people. And you know, and, and this is actually, I, I think, a very important part of all of this. The fact that China has the what, what we believe to be, and would, would, for what there's clear evidence of enormous millions of dollars worth of of business with the the Biden family. It really does raise questions for the rest of us. Like, yeah. what? Who is he working for? Who is he? Who is he covering for China? I don't know. It's the only thing that makes sense to me because a, 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 an American patriot wouldn't do these things. But right. what, what got me was he said, "We're going to compete." Well, okay, Joel. What are you going to do to compete? Are you are you, you going to make sure we have better rules and regulations in America? Cheaper oil and gas, we can manufacture more. We're going to stop the Chinese from stealing from us. What's he going to do to make us compete better with China? Yeah. The the only hope for free people, for a good environment, for uh, justice around the world is a strong America. And this president has done everything he can to undermine a strong America. And when you do that, guess what happens? Places like China, they get, or Russia, or wherever, uh, they, get, uh, they get bold and they, get to, they, they, they move. Well, you hit on something about the family business. It was very telling that President Biden very abruptly shut down a Q&A with reporters when asked about that very family business and the dealings. Watch this. There has been criticism that this. Sir, Mr. President, Mr. President, there has been criticism. Mr. President, there has been criticism that this was an overreaction that was done because of political pressure. You can cut my off and ask the question when you have more polite people. Grouchy. Um, it's so amazing. It's the arrogance of thinking that you don't have to answer a question like that. But, but uh, you know, going back to the last six years, for six years we have uh, listened to the media, the New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, all of these, g go on and on at length about uh, corruption in the Trump administration with Russia. We find out that none of it's true. And, and one of the real problems with that, it kind of desensitizes us, regular Americans, to the concept that you know what? It's a really bad thing to have a president who is compromised because of business dealings with a foreign country. But we're, but it's almost like, and, and no one, no one outside of a few of us are even asking any of those questions of the of the administration. A hundred percent. And I look at this this interview, and he gets a question about his foreign business dealings with China, and he laughs it off, right. and come on, man, and walks away. If that was a Republican. Right. They would be asked every single day, multiple times a day, about their relationship with China. But Joe Biden never gets the question, and he's uncomfortable when he gets it, and he just he, he walks away. It, it, it goes to the I think the corrupt media and the, their unwillingness to ask tough questions to the to, to, to the Biden administration. Yeah, no, and and uh, so much of it. I mean, and that goes back to, in my view, the arrogance of. Joe Biden sitting there acting like, oh, I don't even have to answer this. This it's all baked in. I don't have to do. I don't even have to put up a much like his campaign originally. It, 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 like he didn't even have to make the case to the American people. He could just sit in, he was the, in basement. the basement. Yeah, yeah. of course. Can, can I add one thing? Yes. The fact that these three objects got shot down over the weekend and he waited until Thursday yeah. to even come out and talk about it, and apparently one of the objects was like a $12 balloon from a hobby club. Like one of those Mylar... It uh, was a, no, it was like a hobby well club, soon. like a dad and, yeah. dad and son hobby club that they would t attach like a sensor to it. And so we, the nation, spent $400,000 to shoot down a $12 balloon. But why did he wait until today? Because, again, it created an information vacuum to get past the consumer price index and the producer price index. That's a good point. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if we're going to just spin, spin some tails, I think that's a pretty good Well, one. in the absence of any actual information, that's what we're left to do, yeah. right? Spin tails. Yeah. Charlie Hurt, thanks for joining Great us. Great to see you guys. Good to see good you. To see. You have a nice tan going on. It looks good on you. Just got back from Florida. Looks Free like America. A free America, uh, baby. No, it's because he's a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> and that. Uh, good to his, see you, Charlie. Uh, please. His, My his, arms, have a his arms are this color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's right. Ohio residents.